up YouTube? It's your boy Gartrell here again with No Lift Garage. Um, it's a beautiful day in New York City. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Hit that bell button for notifications and make sure you leave a comment and like on our videos and this video in particular. Um, but today, we're literally just going to be doing some maintenance on the M today. Uh, I already started taking off the carbon strut brace, as you can see. Um, I took off the uh, valence panels above the uh, strut brace. Going to be removing the air box, charge pipes, strut brace and getting down to those spark plugs. I'll even show you how to gap them. I'll be showing you how to gap them with a feeler gauge. Uh, sorry that it's not clear. Anyway, if you're doing this job, you have this spark plug removal tool. It's a thin 14 millimeter 12 point socket. It is special. If you do not have this, you will not be able to complete the job. Make sure you have this before you start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is remove these 10 millimeter nuts. There's one here and one here. Um, and then there's a flathead screwdriver piece right here to take this off. I've already unclipped the mass airflow sensor as you can see here. Um, and then the air box will honestly just pop right out. Um, after that, we'll remove this pipe, also held on by a flathead and then we'll be able to access both charge pipes to take that off and then we'll get cracking on the strut brace. It's held in by like a push pin so you're actually gonna have to pull up a little bit just be careful, don't crack your airbox. Headache to replace, you know. And boom, airbox out. So this pipe actually wasn't even held on really tight. So I probably had a crazy boost leak. So that sucks. We'll make sure to tighten this down the second time around. Well, not so much a boost leak, probably like a surge, or like the math was probably reading it wrong, but yeah. Either way, not good to have. So for the Burger Motorsports uh, charge pipes, they didn't give you the same exact piece. I wish I had the bolt to show you, but they give you this, they give you this like hex type of screw to place in, in, in that space instead. So I had to use an extension, a swivel, and I don't know what size this is exactly. It's in uh, 3 16 So unfortunately, I don't have the actual metric size, but 3 16 uh, Allen head and a swivel and extension and a ratchet. And this comes right out. But obviously you guys probably have the Torx bit one. Same thing, use the Torx bit, the uh, swivel, extension, ratchet, and you should be Bang! Magic trick. It's really pretty difficult to get it on there in the first place. I'm not gonna lie. It took me like at least 15 minutes just to get those two screws in. Screwdriver, take these off. Can you see? Yeah. It's one charge pipe out. These are actually really good charge pipes. If you haven't seen our video, check that out. Should be like right up here somewhere with the tag. Two charge pipes out. Again, check out the video. Okay, so now we're gonna be removing the strut brace, which requires a little bit of parts. Obviously, we took off the uh, three, two, and three 
13 millimeter bolts for the uh, carbon fiber shrug brace that I showed you. There is one 10 millimeter bolt here. Sorry that I'm not like taking it off the tripod, but let me see if I could just lean it in. So 10 millimeter there. And then uh, now we're gonna be taking off the valence clip. So I have a set of these uh, like plastic like clip removers. So you're gonna take off all these clips. There's uh, about one, two, three, four, five, six on top. And then this will come right off. They're like these just little pop clips. Save them, put them back. Hopefully you can see that. So there's two on top of this boot, one holding the boot here in place. So right here on the side, you would pop that out. And I got these two out already. And just unclip your uh, electronic dampening sensor here. Very simple, just pull back, pull out. Okay, so this one has one on there too. Don't break this one. This obviously holds your uh, sensor in place. The boot comes uh, right off after that. Now we're gonna be hitting these Torx bolts. This is one, two, three, holding on the strap brace here. Four here, five. A larger one, six here. Um, you will have to remove these two plastic clips and then there will be two bolts to lift this middle part of the uh, strut brace out. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with the clips, the rubber boots, <coughs> excuse me, and the uh, torque splits on top. So as I said again, my battery's dying, so hopefully we can get this done relatively quickly. Power tool and uh, the uh, torque spit that you need for the six of them. There's actually two different ones, two different keys, so make sure you keep them handy. So I'm gonna just show you where we're at right now. So I've got, let's get this in focus. So there was a bolt here, here, here for Torx bits, here for Torx, here, and here. So I removed all of those. Those were these kinds of bolts, Torx bits. All right, and so, now that we've gotten all those off, now I have a 16 millimeters, there's 16 millimeters, and like I said, I popped the two things out. I'm gonna take these two bolts off, and then the whole bar will come out. Just a bit of M performance, extra. Seriously. So on that part, right above at the top, there's this piece, this rubber piece, just to help uh, seal off the engine bay from any type of water so that you actually don't get misfire and like electrical issues from water getting into the spark plug. So there's a wire that sits in here. If you can see that, I took that out. And then this literally just sits on that little ridge. You just pull it right off. Then there's just like a couple of bolts. You have some 10 millimeter bolts here and all along the edges. You're gonna take those out, that little plastic piece should come off, and then this will be perfectly accessible and you'll be able to get at the spark plugs. Okay, so like I said, 10, 10, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, all the way around. Now this is off, last piece. So now you just gotta lift this up. Oh, there's a pop clip. There's a pop clip on the bottom. That just one, I believe. So you pull it up and it'll come off. That's why it doesn't really come off that easy. 
probably gonna give all these little parts a clean down. It's pretty dusty. This car is actually from Florida, so we'll see. But uh, we're ready to get spark plugs. Now, unfortunately, I forgot that I don't have a spark plug remover tool way like deep into the job like when I was taking up the strub race. So I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna be putting on everything again just to take it right back off. So I'm waiting for Christian to actually come and help me out. Okay, so I just changed the first spark plug. Uh, let's see, get this in focus real quick. I have to return a part. Make sure that if you're doing this job, you have this spark plug removal tool. It's a thin 14 millimeter 12 point socket. It is special. If you do not have this, you will not be able to complete the job. Make sure you have this before you start. All right, so to get to the actual spark plug, you literally flip this switch. All right, you see how that plug, and it's gonna eject the, it's gonna eject the plug for you, right? Now these are all situated in its uh, own spot. If you see here, there's like a little metal guide. Each of them is actually seated a specific way. So now to get this out, it's a little tough. So what you gotta do is focus, take like an extension like this, put it through and kind of pry up. And it takes two hands, so I might not be able to do it like that, but you're gonna just gently pry up and it'll come out. Repeat this step for all six spark plugs and then button the car up the exact same way. So I'm not gonna show you how to put everything back together. It's exactly the way you um, took it apart. Um, and I actually have to return that tool, so I want to do it pretty quickly, so I'm not going to film me changing each of the spark plugs. But you literally just pry up on that, the spark, the uh, coil pack will come out, then you just put the spark plug tool in, take out the spark plug, thread the new spark plug in by hand first, and then with your wrench, and then button the car back up to the way it was before. Very simple. Um, so I'll show you when I'm done with everything. Okay, so everything is put back together. Um, again, as uh, you might have seen in the charge pad video, this intake is so hard to get back in because of the diameter of this charge pipe. Um, again, the newer, the stock ones come flat, so it's easier to manipulate that and actually get it nice and tight. It's actually kind of loose still, but seeing it as the intake side, as long as it's all the way on and slightly tightened, it should be all right. Um, it's not gonna have any blowback or anything like that that would actually blow it off or anything like that, I don't think. Um, so, with that being said, I haven't put back the top strut yet, well, not the top strut, the uh, carbon fiber brace or the little valence panels on top, so I'm just going to start the car first, make sure the car actually runs and drives before we put it all back together, um, and then, yeah, so let's just, we'll see. Okay, moment of truth. So my battery actually died um, and then I couldn't find the charger. So this is actually a day and a half later um, of having the spark plugs done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video all in all. Um, it really isn't too difficult. If you know what you're doing, um, it'll be even easier. If it's your first time doing it, just take your time. Um, taking everything off the way I explained it and putting it back on the exact same way, it could probably take you maybe anywhere from, I wanna say one hour to two hours max. Make sure that you have that tool, the uh, 14 millimeter 12 point spark plug specific socket. It will be a pain if you do not have it. I had to borrow it. I was lucky enough to borrow it. I got to buy my own now. 
but make sure that you have it before you even start the job, otherwise it will be a headache. It's very hard to find in stores. A lot of places do not have it, and you'd have to order it. So you don't wanna take your car apart and then be stuck with it like, wow, now I gotta put it back together without even completing the job. I do have to say that driving the car, it does have a lot more bite to it. Um, it just runs all around better, idle is perfect. Um, my spark plugs came pre-gapped, so I didn't have to show you guys that. Um, unfortunately, uh, I really wanted to do that because I've actually never gapped spark plugs, but being that I didn't, I was just like, oh, that sucks. Um, so it is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell button and you can get notifications for videos that I put out in the future. Um, again, make sure that you're doing everything you can to stay motivated and peace out. See you.